Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Today I'll be demonstrating how I created this painting using the magic wand technique. Stay to the very end for close-ups of the wet and the dry results. And in the description box below this video is the list of the colors that I've used, as well as all of my detailed hints and tips for this technique that I call the keys to success. So give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Um, it really does help my channel grow and it's free to you. And uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more. So uh, thanks and enjoy. Hello, okay, so tonight we're doing a uh, magic wand pour. Last time I did it straight across this way. I think this time I'm gonna go uh, diagonal like this. Um, also, the, one of the differences between last time and this time, I put a, a color underneath the wand and then put the base coat around. I think this time I'm just gonna put a base coat and see um, what, what difference that makes. So I'll go through my colors. My base coat is uh, titanium white from Amsterdam but I also have a cup of titanium white and deco art satin enamels um, mixture to layer in between my colors. This is uh, Atelier Payne's Gray, and this is Amsterdam's yellow green, or yellowish green, and Amsterdam's primary cyan, and deco art Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold, don't be jealous. And this is uh, Amsterdam's Thalo Green, one of my favorite greens. And then this is Amsterdam's um, Turquoise Green. So very ocean-inspired colors, uh, lots of contrast, so I hope, uh, or the darks and lights, so I hope that works out. So let's go ahead and put our base coat down and we'll get started. And then we're going to layer three cups, one at a time. We're going to start La first color in, last color out. So we're going to start with, I want a dark color first in the bottom. So we're going to start with the Payne's Gray. Give it a white a cloud mix. Yellowish green. Cyan, a bit of gold, phthalo green, turquoise. 
eyes. Okay, there we go. So now we're going to do a wandering ring pour across. These drips won't matter at all. They'll all just get tilted off. We're going to pinch the tip. This one will pinch the cup a little bit. All that paint out of the cup. Let it do its magic on the on the canvas. Okay, there's the first cup. Look at the cells coming out there. That's so cool. All right, we're going to start with white first this time, and we're going to start with our greens in the bottom. So, phthalo green. Turquoise green, which is the primary cyan, the yellowish green, a bit of gold, and then our paint's gray next to that gold. This time we're going to start at this end we're going to work our way back. So I'm going to switch to my other hand. And there's a straight pour to start. Not sure switching to my non-dominant hand was the right idea, but too late now. That's two cups. One more cup should be enough. I like that. Not that there's a drip of paint, but it's not. Alright, one more cup. Again, we're going to end with white, so we'll go put that in there first. Let's do the primary cyan. I'm going to go right into gold. And then phthalo green. Paints gray. Yellowish green. Always green. Primary cyan. And what? That's a pretty full cup. Okay. I'm going to come back down to here. And actually, I'm going to come on the other side and pour coming towards me. Here we go.
you can see inside that cup, it looks kind of cool inside the cup too. Okay, Some really cool stuff happening here. I can't wait to tilt and stretch that out. That's gonna be cool, especially this part. Wow, look at that. So cool. Really cool. All right, that has dripped off as much as it's going to. I'm gonna pull that up from one end. There we go. Pop some more bubbles again. This is going to be very green. I thought it was going to be very blue. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to anchor this side here and this side here so that the line stays there in that spot both of those locations. So I'm gonna come down. Very, very fluid paints. So tilting very slowly so that we don't warp our composition in our lines. I'm just gonna take that right over the corner. There we go. of our paint back to the center. I love it so far, looking great. Okay, these cells here are amazing, but I'm afraid I'm gonna lose a lot of it. Uh, I love this section too, so we're gonna go that direction. Let's see if we got the weight of our paint in the right spot. Yep, should be good. So we're gonna walk it kind of back and forth Try and get to that corner, slow it down a little bit. my voice in the 
Definitely ocean colors. Lots of good motion. I think though, it's very diagonal. I want to take it that way and disrupt that line a little bit. But see where we anchored where the, um, the magic wand was? We anchored it on this side and we anchored it down here. Those two spots stayed in the same place because uh, of where it went over, but all of the other composition moved. Uh, but I am going to tilt, uh, yeah, that direction. Just a little bit. I don't want it to go directly side to side for the motion. We're just going to disrupt that a little bit. Give it a little bit of a curve. It's just straight lines. Nothing in nature has straight lines. We want this to look a little organic. how that opened this up too. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So let's give it, let me wash my hands, give it one more torch and then I'll take you in for a close up. Okay, here's the overhead view, including my shadow. <laughs> um, turned out pretty cool, definitely ocean vibes. Lots of green, lots of blue. I love the white cloudiness of that satin enamels in the, in the titanium white mix. So I'll take you in for a close up. I'll start here in the bottom left hand corner. Since those paints are very fluid, there's lots of blending. So I tend to use very harmonious colors. If I'm using blue, I can use violets and reds, or I can use greens and yellows. Something that the, the, the two colors closest to it on the, um, on the color wheel. Look at that, really cool. This, this corner here is my favorite. Look at that phthalo green, so deep and rich. Lots of really good sparkle coming from that gold. Kind of a hazy film over most of it, but there are some sections that are where it stayed separate as well. That's where our magic wand line kind of got anchored to the side. That yellowish green, ooh, so pretty. That's vibrant. I must have layered it next to the gold here because all that green has the gold in it. And uh, that phthalo green here in this area. I'm really happy with the choice that there's some really big boulder cells here. Very cool. And very cloudy in this area with the white. But I love that primary cyan mixed into this area. Really nice. So yeah, there we go. That's our magic wand pour for the evening. I hope you enjoyed, hope you uh, maybe learned something, inspired to try it yourself. And uh, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think, let me know what you think, and um, hope to see you again sometime.